Hey there, if you want to create a notebook in Canva and import that into Amazon, you are in the right place. And we're going to be actually creating some uh, stuff, some notebooks that are just blank with blank pages. So you have to be worrying about uh, to fill that into Canva. If you want to fill that with your own uh, handwriting, you are uh, in the right place. If you want to use that into a digital mode uh, as a PDF file, uh, that depends totally on you guys. So first of all, what I'm going to be doing here, guys, is to use Canva Pro. I'm going to be using a few tools, just a few tools of Canva Pro. I am strongly suggesting you guys to use Canva Pro. Uh, and for that reason, I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can get a 30 day free trial mode of Canva Pro. Uh, actually, there's no excuse to use a start right away here into Canva. So the first thing you want to do before you create a data site, before you create anything at all, is to go into Google or tap a new search bar and try to look here for the dimensions of a KDP of Amazon in order to upload it down. So here we have the print options of KDPAmazon.com. So as you can see, I'm going to be choosing these print options. Um, I can see that there are a few of them. All right, so here it is. To ensure the best quality for image, particularly in high-definition devices, the height of the image should be at least 2500. And here it is. The ideal dimensions for cover files. And the maximum image size uh, allowed is 10,000. So I want to use this pixel uh, ideal dimension. So here I want to go into Canva, create a new data site, choose custom size and choose 2560. 2560 and the other one I'm pretty sure is 1600, right? So then we can just create our new design. So this time is going to be looking our KDP file, our notebook, right? So first of all, what I wanted to do here is to take a look how it's going to be looking our cover page. So here into templates, if you want to, only if you want to, if you don't have any kind of an idea of how you can design a cover uh, of a notebook, let's say that I want to use my cover notebook, right? So in here, um, let's say that I, I'm really into this one or into this one, right? So here into buy, I want to choose buy new user. And here, beautiful night sky, let's say, I can, I can put here just night stories. This is my notebook um, ideas. Not pretty sure of that. If you're okay with the elements there are uh, here, you can leave it like that. If you're not, you can, let's say, delete those, the three of these ones. Uh, go into elements and let's say that I want to look for a moon but a different kind of moon. So for example, here, this, this is a little bit different, but it looks more interesting for me. So I want to drag it and leave it like here. I can choose select all the magic recommendations so I can see there's so much more elements that I can add into my cover uh, stuff which is actually really, really great. In my case, actually, I do love this element. I'm going to see all of these elements. I'm going to just get rid of this one. And then what I want to do here is to once again retract that and leave it like this. Yeah, just a little bit more big enough. All right, so now that I have here all my magic recommendations, if everything is okay for me, now what I can do Let's say that I don't want to see this anymore and I want to move this element in here, right? And actually I can change the color like something a little bit more blue like this. I love that, right? And this one a little bit more orangey like this. Or this, I see that we can do something like this. All right, so there we go. Lastly, I just want to have my text a little bit more big enough and using a brighter color like this and we're now good to go. Then I can add a new page now that we have our cover file. And here what I want to do is to change my background color. Oh, actually, I'm, I'm going to leave it like that because we uh, actually want to hit into elements and I want to look for a border of a notebook which in my case, this is what I wanted to look for. 
right so that's the reason why you want to look for the camber pro version because i'm pretty sure this one is not available yet for um for the camber free version so um here what, what we can do is to choose this element i want to delete it because i don't like this a lot actually i, I do love this one so i just need to resize that like in the middle of the page i copy paste and redrag it. So here's my notebook. If you want to do the same thing into your uh, into your cover, you can do that. Um, I don't strongly suggest you guys to do that because I'm not pretty sure if it's looking uh, more interesting. I don't like my design, so I just want to stick around with this. Now here, what I want to do is to look for something called uh, paper notebook or, or notebook paper so it's gonna be appearing something like this so here's our notebook I just need to drag that and resize it like this and after I'm okay with that I choose the right button and go into send to back and there we go so now we have our our main cover art of our notebook and lastly we have our notebook so you want to go into the grid view so as you can see here is how it's going to be looking so after you've successfully done this if you want to have the blank spaces you want to duplicate this page like this as many as you wanted to and if you want to just leave something like if this was like a template so for example let's say that this is like the main part of your story I can choose, I'm not, I'm just going to choose, I'm focusing to this text in here. Let's say that I want to import like chapter uh, one, right? So here's chapter one and I want to change the color for something like this. And I'm going to remove that, drag that in here, right? So I can copy this element, go into all my grid view. And let's say that in every chapter I am using five uh Papers. So, so one, two, three, four, five. In the other one, on the number seven, I'm going to double click. And here I'm going to paste my chapter text and choose the number two. And then what I can do is to go back into my grid. And here I can change the names of my pages. So here, chapter one. And to the number one, I'm going to hit cover, um, cover page. And here I have the chapter number two. And there you have it. It was really, really simple to use this, um, these elements, right? So after you are successfully done with that, uh, oopsie daisy, I want to exit from the grid view. And here what I want to do is to go into share, download, and here into select pages, I want to select all my pages. And I want to download this as a PDF standard file in order to sell that. So I download here my file and just right before you download your file, be really sure that in here, just on the left part of your document that you have here the title of your file. Um, so for example here, let's say night stories. This is my PDF. This is how it's going to be looking. So as you can see, it, it looks truly legit. So I can now go into Amazon uh, KDP, if you don't have an account of KDP, is really easy. You just need to sign in using the same account as you use of Amazon. When you want to buy something, which is actually really simple, head into create and import your file that you just created here. You just need to uh, import your uh, paperback. So there you have it, guys. Actually, it was really, really easy. Now you guys know how to create your stuff here. Use your paper content, fill all that information, take your time to fill all that. Uh, hopefully, I can see your work into KDP and Amazon. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about this uh, designs from Canva. Uh, good luck with that guys. Once again, you have all the 30 days free trial mode of Canva Pro, so you are good to go and I will see you on the next one.